you want to find out how to drive a railway locomotive, follow me and let's find out. It used to be said in the 19th and for most of the 20th century that every little boy wanted to learn to be an engine driver. Here at the Foxwood Railway Museum, we can show you how. This is Moss Bay. She was built in 1920 in Stoke-on-Trent for the Moss Bay Hematite Iron Company up in Cumbria. The design was already 20 years old by the time Moss Bay was built. In 1953, she was heavily rebuilt and modified, including a bunker and new buffer beams. She then spent her final days working in Croydon Gasworks, where she gained this attractive Kermit green coat of paint. And she came here to Foxfield from the Shugbra collection owned by Staffordshire County Council in 1988. Driving a steam locomotive is rather like driving a car. You have three basic controls. Something to steer it, something to make it go faster, and something to make it stop. Railway locomotives don't have steering wheels because it's the track that guides you around the curves. But just like a car, we have something to make it go faster, and we have something to make it stop. On a locomotive like this, there'd be two crew members. There'd be the driver who stands on this side of the footplate and the fireman who stands on this side. The job of the fireman is the safe management of this. This is the boiler. This is filled with water and there's metal tubes running all the way through it from the firebox. They carry the heat from the coal fire through the boiler to boil the water to make steam. So that's the fireman's job to shovel coal from the bunker into the firebox. The fireman also has to keep an eye on this. This is the water gauge. This is a thick glass tube joined to the boiler with these two valves and the water level in the boiler is married by the water level going up and down in that tube. If there's not enough water in the boiler, just like your kettle, it will go very badly wrong. So, he has two devices to put water back in. On this side of the engine, we have a water pump, and this uses a small steam-powered donkey pump on the footplate to put water back in. And on this side, we have something called an injector, invented by a Frenchman called Henri Giffard in the 1850s. This uses witchcraft to put water back into the boiler. Fireman also has to keep an eye up here, which is the boiler pressure gauge, to make sure there's enough steam. And on this boiler, the maximum boiler pressure shown by the red line, 150 PSI, 150 pounds per square inch. The driver stands on this side of the footplate and his controls are within easy reach. This red lever here, this is called the regulator. It's like the accelerator in a car. It opens away from me. That lets steam from the boiler into the cylinders and that makes it go faster or slower. To change direction, he has this, it's called the reversing lever. So I push it forwards, the locomotive will go forwards. If I pull this into the middle, this is mid-gear, so the engine is effectively in neutral. If I pull it backwards, we're going in reverse. These different notches are like gears in a car. So it uses steam more efficiently at different speeds. To make it stop, we have a handbrake, which is effective the parking brake. And this is the control for the steam brake, which uses a steam cylinder to put the brakes on on the locomotive. So that's been a quick look at the controls of Moss Bay very quick look at how to drive a steam locomotive. Fireman responsible for the safe management of the boiler, driver responsible for driving the locomotive with his gear stick, his throttle, and his handbrake. If you would like to learn to drive a steam locomotive for real, why not come down to the Foxville Railway as a volunteer and learn to drive one of our beautiful locomotives? You can also come down to the Foxwood Railway and enjoy one of our tasty sessions, a footplate experience day.